The Polestar 2 launch edition arrived last year with every bell and whistle the company could manage to pack into its frame. For 2022, Polestar is taking a different tack by splitting the vehicle's bevy of features into optional packages fitted onto a surprisingly well-appointed and relatively inexpensive base model. The big news for the 2022 models is that the Polestar 2 now comes in a 231 horsepower front wheel drive setup in addition to the existing 408 horsepower all wheel drive version that we first saw in last year's launch edition. The front wheel drive version gets a touch more power out of its single permanent magnet motor thanks to a slight tweak in its gear ratio which sacrifices a bit of top end speed for longer driving distance. In all, the front wheel drive delivers a 265 mile range, that's 35 miles more than last year's model and 16 more than the all wheel drive, putting it in the company of the VW ID4, Hyundai Kona EV, and the Chevy Bolt, well, assuming that the latter isn't currently on fire, of course. As for performance, the new front wheel drive iteration offers a 100 mile an hour top speed, with a 0 to 60 of 7 seconds flat. The all wheel drive, on the other hand, notches a 127 mile an hour top speed, 249 miles of range, and 4.45 seconds 0 to 60. Choosing between the front wheel drive and all wheel drive versions will not be an easy one. For nearly all intents and purposes, the two are functionally identical, both inside and out. The question you'll have to answer for yourself is whether you want a fast, sporty, and stylish ride with 265 miles of range, or whether you want to trade in 16 of those miles for an extra 177 horsepower of head-snapping acceleration. This year's Polestar 2s are also far more affordable than what we saw in 2021. The all-wheel drive version starts at $49,900, down from last year's $61,200 starting price. The front wheel drive starts at $45,900, though that drops as much as $10,000 after California incentives, so you're looking at about $35,000 to start. Polestar the company has also introduced option packages for 2022. There's the $4,000 plus pack, which includes a full-length glass roof, premium interior including a 600 watt Harman Kardon stereo, powered seats, and cabin illumination. It also includes a heat pump that uses waste energy from the drivetrain to warm the cabin interior and battery pack on cold days, while also improving range by up to 10% under certain climate conditions. The $3,200 pilot pack incorporates advanced driver assist features like adaptive cruise control, blind spot warnings, and a 360 degree camera. And the all wheel drive exclusive performance pack costs $5,000, but it adds 20 inch alloy wheels, Brembo brakes, sport tires, and upgraded suspension components. The 2022 base models will come outfitted with a new vegan embossed textile upholstery, while the Weave Tech covering found in last year's launch edition is now included as part of the Plus package. If you're really hankering for real leather, that's available, but it's going to cost you extra. And if you want the metallic paint options, they're going to set you back an extra 1200 bucks. Regardless of the packages included, both Polestar variants run off the same 400 volt, 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. The company's managed to squeeze a few extra kilowatts of charging capacity out of the system, 155 kilowatts up from 150 last year, which means you'll need just 33 minutes to refill from 10 to 80% charge. On a standard level two AC charger, uh, like what you'd have installed in your house, you're still looking at around eight hours to fully repower the vehicle. Check out the full review below for additional details about the 2022 Polestar 2, and stay tuned to Engadget for all of your electrified automotive news. Thanks, everybody.